And with that, let's get right to the topics, bro. First, we're going to start off. Oh, man. See, I got the picture up. San Diego Padres made a huge future decision today, uh, which I agree and I disagree. Uh, they signed Manny Machado to a lucrative 10-year, $300 million contract, which is the second highest contract ever besides John Carlos Stanton of the New York Yankees. And uh, is he worth $300 million to me? No. If he's worth $30 million a year for me, no. I think Manny would have been a good price at $22 million. That's what the Yankees try to get him for. But, you know, he's he trying to get his money, man. And, and I know in a perfect world, Manny winning the World Series last year and getting this 300 mil would have been a perfect world for him. But the fact that he lost the World Series, he's basically telling me right now he don't care about the ring, he care about the money. See, because if he would have got the ring and went this route, I would have, I would have understood it. Because now you got some jewelry. But I don't think he's going to get no jewelry in San Diego. Uh, they just a little better than a mediocre team. They got a lot of great hitters in San Diego. Let me mention some guys they got. They got Eric Hosmer, Will Myers, Louis Urias, Manuel Margot, Jose Perella, Hunter Renfro, and they got Fernando Tatis Jr., who, uh, you know, they picked up and, uh, you know, high draft choice and the guy's supposed to be a beast. So offensively, they should be able to do well in Pepco Field. But, you know, they don't have enough pitching. And they probably, if they're lucky, they won about, out of 162 games, I'll give them like 85 games at max. Max 85 games. But back to Manny uh, Machado. 297 headed last year. 37 home runs, 107 ribbies. He's career 282, 175 home runs, 513 RBIs. He had a basically like a career year last year. And, you know, he's the second highest ever. I'm glad the Yankees didn't get him. Let me make that clear. I'm glad the Bronx Bombers didn't get him. We did not need him. We got too many infielders. And to splurge that type of money for a guy that I think, like Andujar, I think could put up the same numbers if you left them all year, like the way you playing Manny. Maybe on the hall, probably a year behind because maybe he's got to, you know, learn the pitches a little more. But trust me, on the hall got back. The only thing is glove is suspect. Machado's a gold glover. But you can work on that. Like I said, worst case scenario, take on the hall out late in the games. But I'm glad we didn't make this uh, pickup. I didn't want this pickup. I'd rather have gone Bryce Harper than Manny Machado. So salute to Manny Machado. 10 years, 300 mil. Now we go on to Bryce Harper. Uh, Philly's, Philly's better get breaded up because he wants to go to Philly. I think him and Philly make a perfect marriage because, you know, Philly's baseball field is small throughout the whole dimensions, uh, Citizen Ballpark. And I think uh, Bryce can capitalize anywhere in that ballpark, especially right field. Though I think Yankee Stadium would be a better fit for him, especially if he pulls that ball to right. But Philly's whole dimensions and the ball carries well over there. I think he can hit 340-plus home runs, 130-plus RBIs, average that shit over there. And then if he stays in the National League, he's already accustomed to the pitching. As if, if he goes to the American League, he's got to adjust to the American League pitches, and that could take a year or two. I mean, look at Longoria. Longoria went to the Giants. He couldn't even hit the shit last year. Some people make the great, great transition immediately. Some people take longer. I think Longoria would hit eventually. It's a bad ballpark from San Francisco. But the way he hit over there, I mean, I don't see Bryce hitting like that in Philadelphia if he goes to Philadelphia because the Phillies want him. The, the Yankees would get him if they can get a bargain, which they not because after Manny signed his contract, this opened the floodgates for Bryce to get maybe to be the highest pay ever. Because John Carlos is at $325 million, though he got a 13-year contract. But his three twenty five dollars surpasses Manny's three hundred, dollars But Manny got a 10-year contract. So annually, Manny averages more, but the contract of John Carlos is bigger because it's three twenty five. dollars And I think Bryce is going to clip that. Uh, he's got a household name. Uh, you know, Bryce Harper, man. I mean, he's good for commercials. He, he, Bryce Harper can do whatever. He just got to stop being a little bitch, stop being a diva. Run out of all the plays, you know. Don't 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 pick and choose when you're gonna run out of play or not. Cause that's another thing with Manny. Manny does that. He takes plays off like Randy Moss used to do in football. That's Manny Machado. 
But Bryce Harper, if he turns it up, plays all out ball, the guy's a great player. He ain't no Mike Trout, but he will get the highest paid contract. And I think when Trout resign, uh, resigns, Trout's going to break all their records because Trout's the best player in baseball. But i like to see the San Francisco Giants land Bryce Harper. I really would like to see them. They need something like that in Frisco land. You know, Bochy's going to retire after next year. You know, every time, after the three out of the six World Series, they've been nothing but trash. The pitching is okay. They got some names over there in hitters, but they're just not hitting. You know, Crawford's not hitting no more. A lot of guys, they sent McCutcheon over there. He didn't do anything. Longoria didn't do nothing. Posey's the only one kind of holding up that lineup. And they need a guy right now, you know, of this magnitude, like Bryce Harper, to go over there and spark up the Giants. Though that's a bad ballpark for him to hit in. Triple mania. And, you know, he won't, a lot of home runs that he'll normally hit in other places won't be home runs in San Francisco. And also the Giant, uh, the Padres got the money to sign him. Padres could dish out another 10, 300 mil. Don't think he want to do that because I think he's looking for a ring eventually. Bryce Harper wants some jury, and that's why I don't think he's going to San Diego. Salute to Bryce Harper because he will be the highest paid Major League Baseball player when he signs his contract. Remember I told you that. Unless he takes a shorter year contract, but his average would be one of the highest. Guaranteed. And last but not least, what's up with this dude, man? Antonio Brown, man. Oh, man, this guy's getting me sick, man. Like... The other day, you make a, you know, you on, you, you had a little interview or whatever. You talk about it's not the money. It's not about the money. Why you want to make your move? It's all about you know respect, whatever, mistreated, whatever. Now you make a video this morning, you know, working out, treadmill, doing push-ups with one arm and all that shit. Talk about pay me the money. So now you don't even know you're hurting your brand, dog. Like. Let your agent take care of that. A, B, you did enough on the field for that to do the talking for you. Because right now, these cross messages you're sending off to these owners, you're basically another Chad Johnson, Terrell Owens type of dude. You know what I'm saying? And, and Bryant, you know what I mean? You, you looking like all these three dudes that at the end of their career, when they started, you know what I mean? When their skill set started diminishing, they was all mouth and nobody wanted to pick them up. And, and I know that you're not at, at the end, end of your shit. You probably want contract, a three-year contract away. But let your, let, your, let your field play do the talking, bro. You did enough on the field. Right now, I'm telling you, all these videos you putting up and attitude you showing, you be lucky to get a two-year deal, fam. Because these owners is not dealing with these cancers. These guys were cancers. Brian from the Cowboys was a cancer. Chad Johnson, Cincinnati, was a cancer. Terrell Owens, Dallas Cowboys, was a cancer. And that's where you going at, bro. You better than that, A.B. You better than that. Get your shit together, dog, because I'm telling you, you fucking your money up, bro. You don't know what you're doing. Not to mention, you know, you violated, you know, Big Ben, who did all great talking for you, loved you. You claim you had love for him. And I'm not saying by wanting to move on that you're dissing him because everybody got the right to move on. But it's the way you're doing it, fans. Fans, be easy. If you be easy, fam, somebody out there going to pay you because your skill set is crazy. I got you top three, not number one no more, but you're definitely top three, fans. But just be easy. You know, you got Beckham. You got Thomas from the Saints, and I got you all your time. Beckham's another diva that's fucking up. He's one contract away, and then after that contract, the next one, he ain't probably ain't, nobody's going to pick him up because as long as you're very productive, a team will fuck with you, but once you start diminishing, oh, you out of here, bro. They ain't fucking with you. You go city. Salute to all my beloved ones, man. L.E.S., Vegas Strong, Vegas Nights, every Sunday, keep this in mind, y'all, every Sunday between 11 and noon, the Al York Sports Show with the round table, like I said, I got my band MP, Moneyline Guy, T. Brown, E. Brady, and then we got the hot seat, we put, we put everyone every, every other week on a hot seat, 
Yo, we gonna break y'all down the raw truth and nothing but the truth to help you, God, man. Make sure y'all tune in. Facebook Live, YouTube, our podcast, our pop network, all that, man. We gonna give you all the channels to tune in. Tune in, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm gonna give y'all niggas the breakfast, man. Even if it's fucking dinner, I'm gonna give y'all niggas breakfast, man. Hold your head, man. Al York Sports. I love y'all, man. And with that, let me just let this play a little bit, man. I give y'all a little, you know, a little bonus coverage. I ain't rapping either, man. I ain't rapping. Every Sunday at 11, y'all. 2 Eastern. 2 Eastern, 11 Pacific. I get back to y'all. Oh, y'all head. Al York Sports.